Fume has. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. My original plan for today was uh, to shoot a review of Tom Ford's Cafe Rose, but that video is just going to have to wait till tomorrow, I think, because I want to get this video done while my blood is boiling and I'm all fired up. <laughs> I feel like shooting a rant video on this, but first off, I have to send uh, a big happy birthday to Daver from the Fragrance Brothers, and I'm sorry, man. Uh, my original plan was I was going to be delivered there, and I was going to jump naked out of a cake for you, but my flight got canceled, and it ain't going to happen, so I apologize, man. You're just going to have to do it without me. Have a wonderful day. Anyways, make lemonade out of these lemons. <laughs> uh, and uh, second of all, uh, the fragrance noob. I'll have his channel link down below. Is hosting a split for Shergi. So if anyone's interested in that, go down and check him out. The fragrance noob. If you don't know who he is, uh, excellent, awesome individual. And he just posted. Uh, a new video up yesterday about nostalgia and fragrances for him. Excellent video. Really, really loved it. So go check that out. But now, on to the goods. What has got me all fired up? Well, you probably already know by the title of this video. Gucci made to measure. What in the fuck is this turd pile? Holy crap. I am utterly just baffled, just amazed at what can come from a big company. Unbelievable. This isn't even worth a review. This just deserves this rant video. I mean, my God, I, I just can't believe it. It's a, it's a fresh, spicy fragrance that comes off stale, that comes off like it's been watered down, leaves this awful taste in my mouth when I smell it. It's just unbelievably horrible. And I cannot believe that a company like Gucci and all the noses this must have gone through before its release, that it passed. The only thing <laughs> that I can possibly think of is they got one awful creative director. That's the big boss, man. And everyone is afraid to speak up. You know how that goes. When you have a boss and uh, no one wants to say nothing, what the boss says goes, because otherwise your job may, might be at risk. Everybody just wants to keep their job. So they got some horrible motherfucker running this place. It's got to be for all the shit that's coming out of them. And everyone's afraid to speak up, so they just keep releasing this crap. Because, I mean, this is embarrassing. This is fucking ridiculous. And, and what's sad about it is, how many of us would love, uh, be a dream come true, have the opportunity to have what a company like Gucci has? They've got the power and the means to do whatever they want, you know? Uh, make fantastic kick-ass bottles, uh, hire excellent perfumers, make awesome, everything is at their fingertips, it's Gucci, it's a big time freaking company, and this is what they do, like they're a goddamn subsidiary of fucking Walmart or something, Jesus Christ, <laughs> that's what you would expect, this is the kind of fragrance that you would expect if Walmart decided to make its own fragrance brand and you would find this in the fucking five dollar section next to the toothpaste or something, <laughs> What the fuck? Frankly, you're much better off instead of buying, if you were going to buy this, you're much better off not buying this and just buying one of those scented Old Spice deodorant sticks. Fuck. I'm telling you, those things are done hell of a lot better than this piece of shit is. Holy crap. So, I would not waste your money on this. I would personally, everyone... Write letters to Gucci, tell them they're fucked up, tell them they need to give this video a watch, they need to contact Dan Micker's Mish, give him a fucking job, and let's get this shit running right again. <laughs> I'm serious, actually, no fucking joke. Put me in there, I would love that job. So Gucci, if you're listening, you need to take a look at your fragrance division and who's running it. 
Because, man, they are fucking the whole thing up. My God. I mean, man, I can handle safe, generic freshies if they're done well. The stuff that you're coming out with is not even done well. I mean, it is garbage. Just pure garbage. So, consumers, if you're out there and you see a Gucci product, I don't know, man. I would just look the other way and keep fucking walking on to Chanel or YSL or Dior. Because Gucci has become the laughing stock, the shitbag of the fucking fragrance world. No lie. <laughs> but that's my thoughts. I had to get this rant out there because, my God, man, when somebody does something like this, it's just, it's like you're pissing on the fragrance world. Something like, fragrances like these don't even, a company that does shit like this doesn't even deserve to be talked about because it's just a fucking joke. That's all it is. But that's my thoughts. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Gucci, give me a call. You guys take care. We'll see you soon.